right thanks for tuning into this session in this session what we're going to do is to explain what motion tie is I, I see a lot of i see a lot of you guys are using the motion ties you don't understand actually what this motion tie effect is you just want adding values on the slider to create sort of smooth transition which i'm going to be baking everything for you down right in this session right here so if you gain value out of this session give this session thumbs up so now we want to add the motion tie to add it just click on your clip and come to plus icon then go to effects then you're going to click on stylize then you come to motion tie there come the dashboard of what motion tie so as you can see this this has changed my my clip into what into session right here so this is what is called ties it's just a duplicate of a clip into thousand words into thousand ties so as you can see this is what you actually see but there are there are thousands and millions of ties so if you want to see them you can just come down to this tie scale as i've explained in, in the previous topic scale is same thing as zooming and zooming in or zooming out this way you can apply this effect so I, so I want to so i want to show you guys that there are millions of ties right here which is duplicate of a single clip so i want to what, drag this all the way what all the way back can you see there are thousands of ties right there as you can see so what you see when you see many people doing tutorial is just that they come to this tie center and what and click on this and set this tie center towards one and it's okay what this actually does is that it zoom what it zoom towards out of the thousand ties right here is zoomed towards this one right here where the center where this what this pivot is that is where it zoomed towards so let me show you when you come down to this one right here this tie center so what this tie center actually does is that this move the what this move this 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 center point right here towards any towards any what any ties you want to zoom in so let me show you what i mean so as you can see when i move on my wire as it is going to move from this first tie right here it's going to move from here towards second ties, third ties. So if I want to zoom towards this third tie, that's where I'm going to be coming down to the, towards this place and what and zoom my word and zoom towards this ties right here. As you can see, so I've zoomed towards what towards this third ties which we count right now. So if I want to move my ties towards up right here, so I can do that as well. I can just bring this and come towards this is first ties right here, second tie, third tie, and fourth tie. So let me show you what I mean. So let me come down towards this one right here. So as you can see, it has moved towards this. So I can zoom this up. Can you see? It's gonna zoom towards that ties right there. As you can see. So that's why you see many people. They just come down right here and what? And just set this to what? Towards one. And it just zoom towards this one right here. And zoom towards a single, a particular, a particular ties only. That is why you see most of people doing that. So I'm going to showing you how to use these ties as well. So let me reset this back to normal. As you can see right here, we have the mirror edges. What this mirror edges does is that all these ties are these edges right here. So it's gonna what mirror them. That is invert them. When I click on this, can you see? It's invert them right and keeping the what keeping the center one uh, right there. So I can zoom towards the center one alone. In After Effects, what basically they use this motion tie effect for is to what is to compensate for what for empty spaces. So let me show you what i mean by empty space let me off this motion tie on this clip right here let's go to transform property and use this rotation on this aspect so let me say i rotate this clip can you see and there's a little there's this dark spot right here we want to refill this so the transition or whatever you want to do can be smoother so that is where you see them coming down to motion ties and what and just do this and what mirror the edges and what expand the what expand the scale so this is what the motion tie actually means so you can mirror the edges if you like in your transition to make it more smoother there are a lot of options right here that you are you can use your blur and set your blur parameter which we're going to be talking about in the next topic all of this parameter right here so now let me show you a single tips to to create an awesome transition right here and so now i'm going to show you how to use this motion tie to create a simple transition so to create a simple transition you want to always use your keyframe so i'm going to set a keyframe for these two for these two option right here which is your tie your which is your tie center which is the position of this one so you can move your position towards the second ties or towards the below ties or likewise you can move it towards to the side ties or transit towards to the next ties whatever you want to do with that you are free to do that so i want to show you how to create this awesome transition i'm going to add the first keyframe as we know that we always add keyframe for the starting of the effect then i want to move towards this part where this ends right here before the cut make sure it's before the cut right here that you are in to so have a nice so i'm going to add another one right there so what i want to do this is zero i love it to be at this one right here this one this first ties right here so just click on this first keyframe right here and what and bring is your style center towards 0.8 ties so let's see which ties fall under 
0 0.8 so let's keep count this is first this is first ties i think is on second ties right there 0 0.6 is on what is on second ties right there as you can see it's on second ties so what i'm gonna do is i want to set another keyframe for this tie center right here so i want to zoom towards this one this tie that we've set i want to zoom towards it so that is where you see me you can zoom towards it at what at one at one so you're gonna zoom towards that so that is where you see this awesome transition that moved from this first ties and move towards what towards the next price can you see they transit towards to the next screen so that is what you see that most of people they are doing to create this awesome type the reason why you've seen this that is setting is because my first tie is not set on what on one so i can set my first keyframe right here that the first ties i want to see should be on one not to zero so now i see the starting point is going to be on the on the first tie you zoom into and then it's going to what move towards to the next one hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say so what to actually make this actually more smoother is what is your curve adjustment as i've already explained in the previous topic just to create this dynamic i know you guys have understand how this curve actually works now so you guys can be creating this awesome transition without you have to cram any curves right there as you can see now i'm now having this awesome transition right there can you see how how smooth it was can you see how smooth it was so now I've created this, so I'm going to do the same thing for the word, for the tie scale as well. So now I'm going to be moving in what, in opposite direction, because I want it to what, to what, to be, to slow at the beginning and what, and fast towards going towards the end. So now, as you can see, as I've explained, let's say you are riding a bicycle and getting to this point, you're going to speed, right? That is what this effect as well is going to do right here. So if you gain value out of this video so far, be, be sure to give this video a thumbs up because it's helped this video a lot. So let's play it up. So can you see how smooth and dynamic this effect was because i've what i've applied the curve effect i've applied the curve effect to create that dynamic effect so you can do the reverse on this clip right here so let me do the reverse on this clip as well so i'm going to click on this clip right here and what apply my motion type go to your effect stylize and then we'll go to motion ties right here then what you want to do first is what as i've shown you so i don't need to start explaining that set your tie center towards one that's i've explained what it means to set your tie center towards one as in the first clip so i'm gonna set my ties towards this and open my keyframe and open this keyframe so right now i'm gonna add my first keyframe and what move towards the part where i want the effect to actually stop let's say this spot right here and i had another keyframe right there you can move it right here towards the center then i'm gonna do the same for the what i'm gonna do the same for the center ties as well and add your first keyframe then move towards what towards the next one just use this to move the rest we can be precise then you come on and add another keyframe right here as you can see i've had another keyframe so what i'm going to do now is i'm moving in reverse so this one is going to be what it's going to be negative 0 0.86 and hit okay so i've created that first keyframe right there then the next one is going to be is zero as you can see it's going to move backward unlike this it's move forward and this move backward towards toward the next way so i'm going to set my zoom as well which is my tie scale starting from let me say i start my zoom from let's say 2.0 let me just use 2.0 and hit on ok then on the next one right here is going to be one because i've set the normal tie scale to one so now let's play this on the second clip and let's see what it look like so can you see how the effects look it's going to what it's going to zoom towards this second ties right here so to make it more dynamic just align this to the frame and come to this so you guys are familiar with this curve so you can understand how it actually works so you don't have to watch cram as i always said so you just drag this towards this so at this very spot right here when it's started it's gonna fast at this spot and i'm getting to this speed it's gonna slow down so just the same principle let's say you are riding a bicycle from this spot right here you are riding a bicycle and you are coming on getting to this spot you know it's gonna what speed up so that is why is one of what at this beginning right here is gonna speed you see i will slow down towards that spot right there so this is what the curve actually look like so let me exit this then for the zoom as well you're gonna do the same thing in the opposite as you can see it right here and you're gonna what open the what open the tie and do open your tie and do drag this all the way to look something like this and this one as well so what this curve actually means when you're driving your bicycle and on getting to this point you're gonna speed that is why this effect on the starting point is gonna work speed and what 
go to the next keyframe. So now let's play this two clip together and let's see how it's going. Can you see? So if you want to make it to be more dynamic, so it won't start counting the keyframe. You can just come to your tile center and just change the curve as you want, as you wish, and change the curve to look something like this. So see, understand this as I've explained for you guys. So you're gonna have something that looks just like this. I see it's not going to be counting the you know what it's going to speed up right there so on this you can as well adjust this a little bit somewhere like this so you can have that dynamic movement of the clip let's play the clip and see how dynamic and see how dynamic and smoother it was so hope you guys gained value out of this if you did give this video a thumbs up so you can just add a motion blur to the clips on the first one right here and what set your and set your parameter sample. I, I I I love using 50 because 50 will give you more professional look to it. Then on my amount of my that is the intensity of the word intensity and the heaviness of the word of the blur. You can set it to 1.5, which gives you more dynamic and nice look. On the first, you do the, the same thing for the second clip right there. So you can have this kind of nice whoosh. Can you see? So you can add the sound design if that is what you are in for but if you are, you are just a EMV editor you can just add a nice sync beat to this spot why where the nice transition take place so we'll come to the end of this session hope you guys gave a lot of this if you did give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next topic peace out